tick bites and what to know about them. Most people never see the tick that infects them with Lyme disease or other infections. The nymph ticks, which are the most dangerous, are as tiny as a poppy seed and they drop off after they feed. That's the one that got me. So if you're fortunate enough to actually find the tick attached to your body, you have to be proactive and protect yourself from chronic illness. If you find a tick on your body, I would suggest taking a picture while the tick is still attached. This helps remember all the details later in case you forget something important. You wanna remove the attached tick from your body with tweezers. Gently pull it straight up and out and do not twist it. Never use a match or dish soap on an attached, attached tick. This will cause the tick to react and spew the contents of its gut and more bacteria into your bloodstream. Once you have removed the tick, you wanna place it in a baggie with a cotton ball or a piece of paper towel and you want to mail it off for testing. There are many places to send for um, send the tick to get tested. Some are even free and results come in usually within two to three days. These, these are, this is an exceptional way to see what the tick carried. It can provide you peace of mind and even cue you to symptoms to look for. Early treatment for any tick-borne disease is the key to full recovery. I will link testing labs in this video. Keep in mind, there is no point in testing for Lyme disease if you've just been bitten by a tick. It can take up to six weeks for the body to make antibodies to the bacteria on testing. So in time you can become, in that time you'll become, you can become very ill while you wait on a test to prove you have the infection. Lyme disease is supposed to be a clinical diagnosis based on signs and symptoms and a history of possible exposure to infected black-legged ticks. If you have a known tick bite, current treatment guidelines call for three weeks of antibiotics. If you develop any rashes or symptoms of illness, such as flu-like flu -like feelings, headaches, achy joints, especially in like the knee, you can assume infection and know that a minimum of six weeks of antibiotics are recommended. It is estimated that only 20% of all people infected with Lyme ever get the telltale bullseye rash. So do not wait for that or think you can't be infected because you didn't get one. If you wait, it's too late. I'm gonna say that again. If you wait, it is too late. Many people suffer a lifelong disability because they follow their doctor's advice to watch and wait for symptoms to develop. This is a huge mistake. I lived this mistake. See your doctor immediately and start tick bite treatment now. I couldn't regret anything more than not doing that. Again, I wasn't educated, so I became a Lyme awareness advocate at that point. The reason we use antibiotics for a tick bite is to prevent acute or chronic Lyme disease from the bite of the black-legged deer tick. According to most well-known Lyme doctors, because chronic Lyme can cause serious lifelong problems for a person, anyone who has been bit by a black-legged tick bite of in and attached for any length of time should receive antibiotics. The problems created by chronic Lyme disease far outweigh any risk of using preventative antibiotics. A single dose of doxycycline, doxycycline is only effective at reducing the tick bite rash, and it is very outdated treatment. It does not adequ adequately treat any of the known pathogens. In fact, a single dose of doxycycline only prevents the rash from surfacing, masking a crucial sign of the illness. So many doctors are still doing this and it makes me very angry because science has proven it's not enough. See ILADS recommended dosing. Treat the bite. 
I am not a doctor, but after years of studying and, listen, and listening to the most respected Lyme doctors in the world, I personally wouldn't take less than six weeks, six weeks worth. If the tick test is negative, that doesn't mean you are out of danger. It all comes down to your symptoms at this point. The bottom line is if you have been bitten by a black-legged tick, you should discuss immediate antibiotic treatment with your provider as a possible course of action. Don't forget to watch my next video on testing and please like and subscribe to this channel to encourage me to continue. Thank you.